Mumble has an unusual problem. His son Eric is reluctant to dance. But there are plenty of reasons to dance. What's mine, Paul? The only way to find out is to try it. Ashamed, Eric runs away from home and meets a flying penguin that poor Mumble can't compete with. Eric, please. Mumble, the boy seeks a higher truth. <gasps> but when their world is threatened, Mumble gathers a mighty force to set things right again in Happy Feet 2. Salim, Brian, you guys have just seen it. Salim, why don't you start? I actually really enjoyed the first movie, and this one was very much in the same vein. It's wonderfully charming, and I thought it had some great songs, some great visuals, and it was actually really funny. Except for that guy who stayed behind because he had the sniffles. I don't know what movie you were watching, because it's not the same Happy one Happy Feet 2. I did. No. <laughs> I didn't think it was good at all. It was written by four people, and it felt like they were all in different rooms when they were in the writing process. Production side, it's pretty strong. There's some interesting performances along the way, but the writing is very weak. I thought a lot of kids' movies, they insult the audience. It really caters only towards the kids and not towards the adults that are bringing them to the movie. And I thought this movie was for both. There's a lot of humor in it that only adults are gonna get. I am not your darling. See, what did I tell you, Carmen? No backbone. Well, see, now I was trying to find some themes in the story, like a message or something that they were trying to teach kids. They started off by talking about how it's good to be an individual. It's, it's all about being yourself and finding your one true voice, which is an ordinary theme that we see in a lot of movies, but they don't ever really harp on it. They don't come back to it. They just toss it out there to explain this is what our movie is going to be about, and then the movie isn't about that at all. It's really just about them getting out of the hole in order to get out the hole, they have to stay true to each one of themselves, which I thought was very, But yet very... they do it all as a big group. There's no individuality and, at all. I didn't care about any of that. I really was so on board with everything else that was going on. I was on board with the songs. I was on board with the visuals because it looked fantastic. It was funny. Comparatively to a lot of the kids' movies that we see nowadays, it was smart. Let's talk about the music because I actually had some big problems okay. with it, mainly because it incorporates original material that they came up with specifically for this movie. Mm -hmm and mixed it in with some licensed material that we've heard before, Under Pressure by Queen, uh, Sexy Back by Justin Timberlake. And some of that stuff is fun within the context of the story, but some of it makes no sense. I disagree, because the first movie had a lot of that. A lot of popular songs that were put in there because they were popular, and I know the kids love that. And this one, having Sexy Back in there, <laughs> It's cute. It's for the kids. We don't have to think of how this song goes with how the penguins are. See, I think you can still be cute and yet also have a really good story that gets us all involved. Well, what about the performances? What did you guys think of those? Well, there's a new character in the story, Sven, as played by Hank Azaria. I mm -hmm. thought he was clever and fun. Sven think. All rights reserve it. Copyright me. He's great. He's great. I love anything that he does. And the one hiccup that I had in terms of the voice acting was actually Robin Williams. He plays this penguin who has a Latin accent. You, me, beautiful egg, now. Now he may do it very well, especially when he has to act against Sofia Vergara. You, me, fat chance. Whose accent seems a little bit more stereotypical than his, which is interesting. It's <laughs> pretty bizarre. But, a gra granted, it's great, but they could have gotten like a Latino actor to do the voice. I, I didn't think that there were any personalities that really shined through. And Robin Williams is basically just doing mm -hmm. his Robin Williams thing. Yeah. I just, there was nothing that stood out to me, except for Hank Azaria. Mm -hmm. Because these penguins are all the same, they give all these different penguins different accents, which I thought was actually mm -hmm. really interesting and, and funny. maybe different stereotypes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Possibly. Possibly. So what about some of the other technical elements, like the animation and the 3D? Oh man, I thought the animation was fantastic. I love when they take the camera and it can go, it can just fly anywhere. They do a good job of exploring the space. And, and one of the things that I really responded to, which was something that was in the original Happy Feet, is this combination of live action with computer generated. There's actually humans in this story. Mm -hmm. oh. And the way that they integrate them into the context of the movie is very interesting. The, the 3D to me is just regular 3D. It, it doesn't add anything to the story. It's just there because it's a gimmick. And you were talking about the camera flying all over the place. A movie that I feel like does that the best is something like How to Train Your Dragon, where you actually have this, this race and this beautiful journey across the water, but in this, you'd never really get that. So our director, George Miller, is famous for the original Mad Max, and he also directed the first Happy Feet. How do you think he fared? I actually thought he did a really great job bringing these animated characters to life, really personifying them and making them very human. Yeah, the technical elements of the movie are strong. I just wish that they spent more time on the script. So let's take it to a vote. Grab your tickets.
I thought this movie was charming, sweet, and happy. See it. And I couldn't wait to get on my feet to get out of the theater. <sighs> Skip it. Well, that's one ticket, which is a stream it for Happy Feet 2. Cheers. Cheers. I'll settle for that. <laughs>